So most of you probably know that the birth control pill has certain side effects like headaches, weight gain and mood swings. But what does the pill actually do to a woman's libido? Well, let's find out. So let's not deny the fact that hormonal contraception is a very effective method of birth control and it has allowed women for the first time in history to gain control over their reproductive functions and therefore it is seen as something liberating but unfortunately there are so many side effects to taking the pill and today I'm going to talk about the birth control pill's effect on libido. The birth control pill is one of the most commonly used drugs in developed countries yet the sexual side effects are not very well studied. In fact studies on women's libido in general are not a very prioritized subject in the research field so this means that there is a lot we don't know and that more research is needed. So first I'm going to talk about the hormonal birth control pill's effect on testosterone, which is essential for libido. And yes, women do have testosterone and it plays a very important role in our bodies. So the pill reduces testosterone levels by two separate mechanisms. The first one is by directly suppressing testosterone production. Now women that are on the pill are not ovulating because the hormones in the contraceptive pill block ovulation and with that also comes the suppression of testosterone. Now normally the ovaries would produce a good amount of testosterone but when you're on the pill they're not producing as much as normal. So the second one is the hormonal birth control pill's effect on something called SHBG. Now SHBG stands for sex hormone binding globulin and it is a protein that exists naturally in the body and its function is to bind testosterone, hence the name. But when you're on the pill, the levels of SHBG are elevated, which means that it will bind more testosterone, leaving less free testosterone for the body to use. Because once testosterone is bound, it is unavailable. So in order for testosterone to float around and do what it's supposed to do, it needs to be in a free form. And lack of testosterone can lead to metabolic and mental health problems as well as a low libido. And there are even some studies indicating that the elevation in SHBG can be permanent. Which means that even after you quit taking the pill, testosterone levels can continue to be lowered. Which means that taking the pill can potentially damage a woman's libido permanently. Another study found that being on the pill for only 3 months can lead to shrinking of the labia minora and the vaginal opening, as well as increased pain during intercourse. The pill has also been linked to vaginal dryness and a condition called vestibulitis. Now this is a disorder that causes women to experience painful intercourse. Women with this condition report burning pain during sex, and in some severe cases, the pain can even be present during normal activities. Now these are some heavy side effects, and don't get me wrong, not every woman experiences sexual side effects when going on the pill, I'm just letting you know that sexual dysfunction can be a result of taking the pill and personally I think it is irresponsible that 15 year old girls get prescribed these pills for acne and for irregular cycles without being told how it affects the body and what it can potentially lead to and I think it is important that we spread some knowledge about this so that women can make an informed decision on whether or not they want to take birth control pills because there are non-hormonal options out there that are safe to use and that don't have the side effects. So all information in this video is science-based and studies have been taken from the Journal of Sexual Medicine. I've put the links in the description below if you're interested. If you are suffering with any of these side effects, there are plenty of things you can do to help your body recover. See, in many cases, the body has the ability to heal itself when given the right conditions. Quitting the pill alone can often be enough to heal the symptoms, but for a lot of women it is a process that can take time, so be patient. Here are just some of the things you can do to help your body heal. Reduce stress as much as you can. This is really important, as stress causes hormonal imbalance. There are many ways to do this. It can be setting aside some time during the day to light some candles or read a good book or organizing your days to come so that there is no last minute lunch making or stressing over what to wear that day. Whatever it is you choose to do, make sure that you prioritize harmony and relaxation. 
getting enough vitamins and nutrients, especially iron, vitamin D, zinc and magnesium. Make sure you're eating nutritious foods such as dark leafy green vegetables and fruits. You can supplement your diet with a good multivitamin if you like. And have some healthy fats in your diet, like avocados, nuts and seeds. This is necessary for hormonal health. Also, get some exercise. Exercise is a wonderful tool to increase blood flow, manage your mental and physical health and help with your overall wellness. There are also some natural supplements you can try, such as maca root for example. Although the evidence are lacking a little bit, it has still shown to help balance hormones and restore libido. So that's all I have for today. I really hope you found this video useful and if you did, definitely subscribe to my channel as I will be posting more videos on this subject. Also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say and answer questions that you might have. Next time I'm going to talk about the birth control pills effect on nutrition, so stay tuned and I will see you soon.